And now, please welcome the Walking Dead panel, Kaylee Fleming, Emily Kinney, and Chad Coleman. Excellent, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming out. <laughs> Absolutely. This time is yours if you want to tell some stories, a little bit of what you're working on now, take questions, whatever you're comfortable with. We'll start with you. No pressure. I was gonna say I, I, no I think, pressure, guys. I was gonna say I think Kaylee needs to tell us uh, yeah. what's going on with the new season of The Walking Dead and all the stuff that she's not allowed to tell us. Oh yeah, smart question. It comes out August twenty second. <laughs> all right, all right. Yay. Awesome. Well, would you like to get some questions from the audience to get started? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's fine. Good. I'll uh, just let you guys know I just wrapped on The Orville Season 3. Awesome, right? yes. Right. So hopefully that'll be out by either the end of the year or the top of the new year. Okay, but it's, it's going to be awesome, I'm telling you. Won't be disappointed. And you've got a movie with Brecken coming out uh, in April, right? Yeah, yeah. It's called The Enormity of Life. Um, actually, I think you can see it now. It's on like Apple TV and all the stream, Amazon and all that. So The trailer yeah. looks amazing. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so make sure and check it out. It's actually going to be Brecken's trailer when I show uh, when, for his Q&A. It okay, just really cool. looks impressive. We have a question right down here. Let's get started with you. What was your favorite episode and why? I guess that's for all of you. All right. <laughs> I like the delivery. She makes me want to answer like that. No, okay. <laughs> my, um, my favorite episode was probably uh, easy to, to imagine. It's um, my death, the death episode. Yeah. And uh, it was very intense and um, just, you know, a lot of emotions behind it being that it was the final episode. And we had so many wonderful folks come back, you know, to, to be involved in it. So that, that was cool. <laughs> you being one of them. Remember you sang yes, that beautiful I song? Just, it's coming back to her now. Yeah. No, I remember. Yeah, she struggling sang that man. beautiful song. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And was that your, wasn't that yours? Um, no, Jimmy Cliff. Oh, my bad. Okay. Oh, yeah, I so love I Jimmy Cliff too, cover. though. Yeah. Yeah, too. so that, that was it for me. Um, one of my, the first one that comes, there's a lot of favorite ones for me, but I'm th the one where I was with Norman and we kind of got separated from the group and had to survive. That was a really fun one for me because I felt like I got to learn more about Beth and the audience got to learn more about Beth and, um, I just got to do a lot of cool stuff in that episode. So that one was probably one of my favorites. I have a few too, but, ooh, if I had to pick one, the stuff in the snow was really cool. Because it was like, it was paper. It wasn't real snow, it was paper. And it was in a big studio, and they had these big fans, and they would be like, it was fake snowing. It was really cool. And then, um, if I had to pick another one, when Earl died, sorry if I spoiled anything, uh, whenever Norman came in, and we just sat there, and I like leaned in him, that was really cute. Aww. Okay, we have a question right down here, down front. So I hear a lot of the actors like don't ultimately know when they're gonna die. So when they started to highlight you and you're like, oh, I'm getting more focused on that make you nervous if you didn't know? And I have a question for you to Kaylee after you guys answer that. I mean, that's a good question. I felt you like it was that? so, uh, I mean, I don't know. It did seem very hard to predict, you know? I feel like that was just always a question. Like, it's like, you know, looking through the script really quick to make sure you're, you're like, still alive at the, <laughs> you know, like, uh -oh. um, oh, right. I see what you mean. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, are they trying to, you know, make, build, build yeah. Up. I mean, that definitely is like a question in your mind. Yeah. So you're always trying to like figure it out, you know, get ahead. But yeah. Well, you know, she went before me. <laughs> so <laughs> did I feel a little old moments? <laughs> Yeah, I did, but 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 no, you know, I didn't see it coming though. Yeah, because he called me, you know, just to call me. I'm like, yeah, hey man, I'm you know, 
busy right now. What do you need? <laughs> She's like, yeah, I need you to come down, man. I need you to talk to you. Oh, okay. Well, what's up? <laughs> it's time for you to go. And I thought he was joking. I, I said, I just started laughing. Right? And then he teared up. Scott Gimple. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is real. And, and then I said, okay, a thousand times. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 all right, okay. <laughs> I didn't know what else to say, man. And then he explained to me what the episode was going to be like, and I was like, let's go, man. Because I, I thought he did an amazing job with wrapping up this character, so, yeah. And then for Kaylee, uh, you were in Creepshow, right, uh, with Shudder, that haunted dollhouse. That was really good. It's a really good episode. What was it like shooting that, and, and do you like horror doing no. all of that? <laughs> watch like I've never seen a scary movie before because I watched creep show because I went to the premiere so I watched my episode but um whenever it was like in development I don't know Greg Nicotero was the one that put that together and he pulled me to the side and he was like I have this project for you and you're the perfect fit and I was like okay whatever you're Greg I'll do it so um it was like it was really creepy <laughs> there was this head and it went from like this big to like this big. And it was squishy. <laughs> I don't know, it was really weird. And it had like blood and stuff on it. It was really cool to do, but I watched it once and I probably won't watch it again. <laughs> and a question right back here. Um, since you're done filming, Kelly, uh, what, for all of you, what was your favorite moment on like your last day of filming? Okay, yeah, I can give you that one. I was covered in blood from head to toe, man. There was blood in places I didn't know it could be, man. I'm telling you, I was the last person. You know, my, my tra every, they pulled all the other trailers. I was still in there with the, with the, because you use shaving cream, it helps you get that fake blood off. I was still in there scrubbing away. <laughs> you know, and the guys that handled the trailers, they knocked on the door. Like, hey, buddy, you going you to be much longer? And, and so that was it. That's, that was like, oh, my God. It was amazing, though. Yeah, I felt, I felt really lucky because um, the way the storyline ended, you know, um, everyone was coming to save me from, from the hospital. And I'd had so many episodes where I sort of was by myself or with um, a lot of new characters and they were great to work with, but I thought it was really lucky and cool that like my last day of shooting, I got to be back with like my sister and I got to, you know, and Andy was there and Norman and because they had all, right before I die, you know, they had all run in to save me or whatever. They so my, you out. Yeah, and yeah. they saved that for the last day, like my last day on set was that. So I felt, I felt lucky that I got to spend my last day on set, you know, with, with more people and not just like, by myself or with like you know a new character or something yeah when lauren lost it you know after yeah that was the moment for me when, when she hit the ground like you know uh, that was it it so it's also when readers brought you out but yeah. then you know and, and lauren somehow i don't know how it was she didn't know you know what i mean she she caught wind of everything a little later and she just screamed and hit the ground i never forget that you yeah, know it's pretty all right, Ooh. question over here to your right, over on this side. What was your first reaction when you got the role on The Walking Dead? <laughs> well, I mean, there, there was uh, kind of some activity swirling around online about it, you know, for who should play the role. And there were people who thought I, I should play it. And I found out later that, you know, Robert Kirkman, <laughs> of all people, right? How about the guy creating the show, thinking you're right for the role? Um, but I was really excited, of course. Yeah, very excited. Yeah, I was really excited. I remember um, getting the phone call. But I remember it was very secretive still. So there was this weird, like, now, if you got it, you'd be leaving. I don't know. I just remembered like the phone call being a little like, like secretive or something, you know, like, so they didn't want to tell me like how many days I'd be down there or 
any of that. I remember it being a little bit like, or maybe they were still figuring it out or, yeah. But I was excited. So whenever I first got it, the audition scene was the scene where Judith is on the stairs talking to Negan about the homework. And my agent called me. We were in the car on the way to Georgia. And we had never seen The Walking Dead before. And I was like, we had to look it up. What's The Walking Dead? So, well, I was like 12. So, you know, I'm watching Disney Channel and stuff, not The Walking Dead. So, <laughs> well, she called and she was like, you're auditioning for the role of Judith. And I'm like, Judas? Who is Judas? And she's like, Judith. Judith Grimes. And I'm like, who is that? So I had no idea who she was. But uh, it was really different, like going on a horror show. But I'm glad that I got the role. Yeah. And I saved your life. I, I took care of you. You don't know that. But <laughs> <laughs> you're here because of me. <laughs> Mary, didn't I take care of baby? Absolutely. Thank you. Question right down here in the front over here. Uh, I have a question for Kaylee. I'm a middle school teacher, so I'm wondering how do you do school while you're on set? So I went to public school from kindergarten to fourth grade, and then from fifth grade to eighth grade, I was homeschooled. And this year, for ninth grade, my public school does virtual learning for, like, if you don't want to go to school because of the virus. So that's what I'm doing. It's all on a computer. Kind of just teach myself. <laughs> Over there. All right. You probably can't see me too well behind the pillar here, but we got a question for you right here. This question's for uh, Emily. How did it make you feel for your character after she survived all of that, just die that way? I survived when all those zombies and stuff just end like that. I, I mean, yeah, I was really sad about it. I was, I was bummed because I h had spent so much time with Beth, and it was cool to see her sort of change and become a little more independent and um, stronger and just like go through so much. So yeah, it's hard to leave a character like that behind for sure. So I, I was bummed. Uh, right over here, we have a question. Uh, this one is for Kaylee. Um, what was it like filming down in Sonora for like everybody surrounding you and <laughs> trying to take photos? There's a button on the Hello. side. There you oh, go. There you go. It's working now. Um, it's really cool to go in Sonoy. They have a, it's like, I don't know, Alexandria and then all those little shops. And they have the Woodbury shop, which is really cool. I got to go down there to the downstairs and put my name on the wall, which is really cool. I love meeting the fans. I love taking pictures and stuff because they're the reason that we're here. Aww. All right, hang on, we're gonna use the mobile microphone. There you go, talk right into the top. Okay, does it work? Yeah, it's working. <laughs> oh, so you, so you doubted it's the me. magic ball again. Okay, question to all of you. Are any of you gonna be taking part in any of the, the runoffs or the spinoffs? We don't and do know. you guys hear zombies in your sleep? <laughs> Um, I have had some zombie dreams. Like, it definitely did get into my head in a certain way. So I've definitely had, I mean, all different ones. Ones where I've been, like, at a party and trying to tell people, you know, like, zombies are coming. <laughs> I've had ones, yeah, I've had ones where I was, like, walking down the street and they're, like, in New York City and then they're, like, hanging out, like, on a bit. I know, I, it got really, <laughs> you're like, what? No, yeah, I've had, I've had a lot of zombie dreams. So yeah, they do get in my dreams. <laughs> I've never had a zombie dream before, but that's because the zombies are really nice in real life. <laughs> they'll, they'll come up to you and they're like, hey, my name is blah, 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 and you're gonna kill me. And I'm like, yay, great, I'm so excited. <laughs> but at lunch, when, before COVID, like we would all eat lunch together and they couldn't take their mask off. So they, it's literally be a zombie eating a chicken sandwich. It was hilarious. <laughs> She, she stole mine. <laughs> You're so good. You're so good. That's exactly it. You know, the myth is broken when I watch them trying to choose which salad dressing. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? 
And then the other part is like, you know, you have all these intense fights and you don't want to hurt the actor, you know? So it just, yeah, I never, I was never able to really carry it with me with the intensity and, you know, with, that you get from it. So, yeah, no, no dreams and no, no, no spinoffs, you know? I think um, they want to leave Tyrese, you know, un, un, yeah, <laughs> leave him where he is. <laughs> you know? All right, we got a question for you right here. Hi, uh, so for Chad and Emily, um, since your characters both saw Judith as a baby, what was your reaction to seeing Kaylee come in and be Judith? I mean, she's perfect. It's amazing. It's so exciting. It's cool to it's it's cool to see the show now and see how it's evolved and see how the different characters have changed and grown up. And um, yeah, sometimes I miss. Like, I'm not, I don't always keep up with the show exact, but then I'll, once in a while, I'll go back and, like, start watching some episodes I haven't seen or whatever, and it's, like, it's so cool to just see how the show has grown and see the new characters, and, um, yeah, I like it. She's doing a fantastic job, of course, you know that. Yeah. So, all that hard work out in the woods paid off. She's, yeah, she's fantastic. And on the far left side, right over here, we have a question. Well, you three know I'm a big Walking Dead fan. I have a three-part question. Chad, yours is about the Grove. How hard was it to be uh, to do that and watch the, the unfolded where that little girl is going to get killed? Uh, and then we're going to the opposite ex uh, extreme and the um, attached episode, um, the still. When you uh, were going to drink this peach schnapps, uh, how much fun was that? And Kaylee, how cool was it to be Loki? Really cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love um, Marvel. Like, the Avengers is me and my brother's jam. So I was really excited. But it was really secretive. Marvel was, Disney is really secretive, so it was really hard to keep it a secret. But it was really cool. And then you're supposed to, uh, yeah, I think it was, it was fun to kind of have those moments, um, you know, with just Beth, like, experiencing new things and trying peach schnapps, or not, I guess, not peach schnapps, but having, yeah, having a drink for the first time, and yeah, those were just, like, fun little acting scenes, you know, for me, so I had a great time. Well, you know, M Melissa McBride is amazing, so... Working with her and, and Brighton, Brighton was amazing as well, you know? Um, so that's what made it easy because you're rocking with some incredibly talented actors and um, that just make it so real and it, it makes my job easier, you know, even though, yes, it was incredibly, incredibly tough. Uh, both of those scenes in the Grove were, but you know, I mean, I love drama, so, you know. It was, and, um, you know, yeah, I don't know if I could have done it better that they wrote it than Melissa had to do it, you know, than me, man. It, it, was, it was tough, but it was just funny, again, like, Brighton was just so, like, we're skipping around playing with the flowers, you know, joking and laughing and stuff, and then boom, she was right there, you know, ready to do this uh, incredibly tragic scene, so... Um, yeah, working with the actors just made it easier. But, uh, and it's powerful stuff. I think uh, people will always remember it. So it's great to be a part of that. Another question right down front. Kaylee, what was the hardest part about being a kid on the show? Ooh, I don't know. There's not a lot of kids on the show. So, but it, everybody is so welcoming. It's like, I don't know. They don't treat you like a kid, if that makes any sense. They're not like... I don't know. <laughs> How do I describe it? <laughs> it's She's fun. an actress, you know? Part of the cast. You got a question over there? No, if you got one over there. All okay. right. Uh, we're going to go for the Joker guy. Ready? Here we go. Good catch. Right into Hello. the box. So I'm just wondering, as actors, can you guys enjoy watching roles that you have been in? Like, can you enjoy the story, like, 
go through like on Orville after CGI and stuff's happening and like <laughs> is it still like enjoyable to watch it's hilarious like, man yeah <laughs> um, I know the story is good when I forget about my performance you know and when I can get into the story I'm just you know another cog in the wheel of the story then I know I'm all in then that's great but when it's not, then I'll be more, you know, judgmental of my work or look like, why did I look like that? Or, you know, so I don't like that. When I can suspend that because the story is so good, yeah, I, can, I, I don't have any problem watching it. Yeah, that's a great answer. Yeah, I, I, I like watching stuff at least. And I like seeing what is picked. Like a lot of times you are doing, you know, different takes, different angles. And I always think it's interesting it's just interesting to see how they edit it together or, um, or put in things after. And um, yeah, so I find it really interesting to watch, but I have a limit where I go, okay, I can only watch so much and then I want to nitpick, you know, my performance or something. And I, and I kind of go like, okay, I can't really, I've, I've seen it. I don't need to like go back and like watch it a bunch of times or anything. <laughs> yeah. All right. Got a question right down the middle here. Hi, this is for um, Emily and Chad. Um, besides your deaths on the show, um, what character, while you were on the show, what death affected you most? <laughs> for me, first, it was, it was Scott Wilson. Yeah. Herschel. Because that dude was amazing, man, you know? And he, he's a legend. He's a legend, you know? And just... The sweetest, kindest human being, you know, uh, I just remember him being the first person that made me feel so welcome on the show, you know? Um, just someone you could just look in his eyes and just feel comfortable, you know what I mean? And then we were doing things acting-wise that we, you know, we were both were appreciating these small moments we had with each other that you might not see just reading the scene, you know? Such a pro, such an amazing guy. And ironically, his death was actually, in the comic book, that's Tyrese's death when he wow. chopped his head off. Yeah. So they gave it to him. So I felt even worse. Like, dang, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, I agree, actually. Herschel's death is probably the hardest one for me. Um, I remember being with uh, Lauren who plays Maggie, of course, and we were just watching it happen, and I, you know, remember that day of shooting, and um, it wasn't difficult to bring up emotion for those moments. It was just pretty uh, natural. It always is with, with Lauren, for some reason. It was always easy for, for us um, to be in the moment, uh, but yeah, that day was difficult. I had, just had a flash when you said it of y'all two right there. Oh, God, I remember, yeah. At the fence. At the fence, and... yeah. yeah. Okay, question off here to the side. Well, after that, that kind of makes it really awkward for me to be asking the next question. Yeah, you. <laughs> hey, hey, get out of here. Just get... <laughs> Hey, hey. Get out of here right now. Have you paid the bill yet? Jeez. <laughs> My credit uh, card was denied. <laughs> Say that again. This actually is a question for Emily. How did you enjoy playing a much different character on The Flash, playing a bad guy? Was that a, uh, a fresh perspective from the kind of nice and heroic Beth? Yeah, I mean, I had a blast on The Flash and Arrow. Um, it's fun to play a villain. It's so, so different from Beth. I mean, that's one of the things I love most about acting is getting to sort of like tap into different parts of your own personality and character. And um, also just the tone of that show is really fun and fast paced and um, got to wear a cool costume, got to have like killer bees and you know. So yeah, very different vibe than Walking Dead, but um, just had a blast. My friend Wayland's out there, raise your hand. Ask your question, Throw, toss her to- Oh yeah, 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 all right, hang on, here we go. All right, I'm trying not to ricochet this off anybody's heads. Awesome. Good, man. That's awesome. 
Um, my question is for both you and Emily. Uh, if you had to switch your death with another character, whose death would you prefer your character to have? Oh, that's a good one. <sighs> okay, wait a minute. A hard one. Yeah. To... My sister. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was wow. I mean, I didn't want to. I didn't want to change, but it was so cool, you know, the way she chose to do it, mm -hmm. you know, and being inside that. Oh man, I thought that was really cool. And this, you know, I, I miss her. She's <laughs> she's so <laughs> she was bad. You know, bad A, you know, I want some sin. <laughs> yeah, my sister. Yeah. Felt, I felt for her. I don't know. I. <laughs> that's a hard one. I'm like, I went the way I've. So I, I switched with someone else. I just don't know. I guess if I could have saved my dad, maybe I switched with him. <laughs> right, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take that one. All right. We're over here to the right against the far wall here. We got a question for you. So for each of you, who was the most fun to work with on set? You can't make us pick. Yeah, no. She, she just did. So She's so wise. She's so wise. That's a good answer. That's like choosing between my kids. You know? But... But Rita's is the most <laughs> mischievous, right? Yeah. Yeah. Rita's is, Rita's is, Rita's definitely gets you going, you know? But, yeah. but everybody, you know, everybody's having a blast, you know, everybody's having a blast. But yeah, I would say, I would have to say, if I had to choose, I, I would say Rita's was the one that, you know, made me laugh the most. It's crazy. Yeah, that's hard to pick. Because I like them all for different reasons. And like, I would say I like... It's really fun. I just always had fun with scenes with Lauren and with Scott. But then I also feel like Steven is so funny, too. Like, he can really true. make me laugh. He's That's true. And Norman. So, like, for fun laughs, maybe Steven and Norman. For, but, I, but, yeah. You're right. Different reasons, different you know? Reasons. You're right. Like, you can kind of. Um, yeah, you're yeah. right. You're right. Because Melissa and I would just talk a lot. Oh, Melissa, lot. too, though. Yeah, me I, and Melissa would talk a lot. And, yeah. Just really have real thoughtful conversations, you know. Yeah, I liked whenever I got and Sonequa too. Sonequa too. Yeah. No, everybody. It's hard. everybody. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't answer your question. We just chose everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got time for two more questions. You guys will be headed back to your table to sign and hang out after this. Or yes, indeed. Sure. Okay. Well, anyhow, if you haven't had a chance for a question, we only got time for two more. I got one over here, and then looks like you got one right over there. So we'll All do, right, we'll do those mine two. first. Thank you. This is for Kaylee. Do you ever wish that you could have worked with Chandler Riggs? Definitely. I so wish I would have. I met him on a convention cruise that we did. And I've done a few conventions with him, and he's hilarious. I love getting to see him, but um, yes, I do wish I could have done some stuff with him. Okay, and last question. We'll do a short throw. Almost dropped the magic dice. We got it. I've got a really complicated question. You guys ready? Oh, yeah. Close, close, close. With no bias towards the actors, who's your favorite character? You can't say yourself. Ooh. Wow, you know, okay, all right. You know, right. And and everybody is amazing. But Melissa McBride's story... <laughs> <laughs> that, you, that story arc, you know, from where she started to where she's... I, I, I haven't seen that on television before in my life. Not to that degree. So, yeah, I would have to go with uh, Melissa McBride. I'm gonna pick Melissa, but you can. <laughs> no, I'll pick someone else because I like all of them. But um, <laughs> um, I'll pick Maggie. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna pick my mama, Michonne. Oh, oh good yeah, one. of course, yes, indeed. We'll pick my mama. I love it. <laughs> Michonne. 
Thank you so much for doing this. It's such an honor to have you guys here. Thank you guys. Thank you. Give, Give it yourself up. a round of applause. Yes. Yeah. They're headed back to their tables to sign. Great job. Yes, Let's hear did. it. Walking Dead panel. Kaylee Fleming, Emily Kinney, and Chad Coleman headed back to their tables, and you can do better than that. Hi, this is Michael Shanks, and you're watching Fandom Spotlight. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. The fate of the universe may depend on it. And have fun, and follow your fandom.